Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I'm actually going to be heading to the store now. Today is our last full day here, here at this RV park. I hope to also show around a little bit if you guys are traveling through, passing through, you want a nice RV park. I kind of like to share where we stay, not in the moment, but once, uh, by the time this goes up, we'll already be gone. Before this, we were in Boulevard Peninsula and we stayed at the beach RV park, beachfront, gorgeous. I miss it to this day. It was so nice. And then from there we went here, which is in between Houston and Galveston. It is League City, Texas, and this is called Willow Lake RV Resort. We have really, really liked it. It has like a little lake in the middle and then around it has RV parks on both sides. There's a lot of construction going on right now. They're building an extension to like some kind of materials place, supplies and materials place. So there's a lot of like forklifts and constant noise. So that's the only downside. Um, but overall, this whole RV park, like it's just been so nice because it's so close. It's like 30 minutes from Galveston, 40 minutes from Houston. There's so much to do. There's a lot in this area like the target stores everything everything that you need so my kids are playing but we're gonna be leaving today to our next destination we loved it so much that we actually contemplated like we started looking at houses here like the real estate we actually looked at a few open houses um talked to a few realtors the real estate here is pretty good i would say compared to other areas that we've been to like missouri south carolina i feel like here you get definitely get a lot of bang for your buck in terms of like the house that you're getting so if you're considering moving here i i would totally move here but we have like no family um no friends we don't really know anyone i don't know it's just it would definitely be kind of like a lone wolf situation but there's definitely a lot to do we loved it so much that we seriously did contemplate like buying a house here and like looking at it and then we talked to a few realtors they also recommended north of houston there's like a few places there they recommended the woodlands which we wanted to explore as well but never really got around to uh supposedly it's like a little community of sorts in between conroe and, and spring texas and i believe they don't do any more new builds they kind of like try to preserve what's already there they don't cut down any more trees or develop anymore i guess you can say the only downside is you're going to get more so an older home it might be updated inside it might not but um so yeah we we have truly been contemplating like moving here because we genuinely loved it so much out of all the places we've been to i feel like this is the only one that we've like seriously considered like we could actually see ourselves moving here so that's the main reason why we're traveling to begin with is because we wanted to explore all these different areas and kind of get a feel for them and see like where do we want to move before we settle down that was like our main goal of traveling we're trying to like find what's the best place for a family to move to. So enough talking though, I'm gonna go outside. I'll try to show around a bit, maybe now, maybe later. I'm gonna go to Target, my daughter Aviana, this RV park, they have a lot of people who live here kind of like full time, like some people live here for six, eight years. And this little side, the side that we are on, there's a lot of people that have been here for years or they're like living in an RV looking for a home. So my daughter made a friend, there's a lot of families here with kids and my daughter made a friend exactly her age. They were born like a month apart. So I asked her if she wanted to like buy her a little going away gift. So we're gonna go to Target. She's gonna pick something out for her. Um, so that's what's on the agenda for today. And then maybe I can like show you guys around cause this RV resort, it's really nice. It looks like most people come here either cause they're working, not so much to relax or maybe it's like a pit stop for us. We just, we wanted to like stop here, explore the area. And this definitely gave us the time to do that even then we still didn't have time to do everything that we wanted to like I feel like a month it just goes by so fast <laughs> so fast okay here is our spot here we back up into I don't know like this brush here this is where all the cats come out of there's like a ton of community cats here that the neighbor feeds there's probably like six or eight total I'm coming um, and then that's all the warehouse noise right there they're expanding or something so there's a lot of noise in that this one downside and then you have the main highway is going that way then there's another highway this way on that side and then there's a train track behind us this way it's kind of hard to show visually but there's definitely a lot going on it's kind of like in the middle of what looks to be a very quickly expanding area so that's nice and it seems like most people stay here mainly for whether you're working most people seems like they're working so they stay here they live here kind of like long term but we really liked it here the people here are really really nice oh, it's so humid here i think that's one thing that i probably wouldn't be able to get used to is the humidity although south carolina i have a lot of family there 
and that's like another spot where yeah. I hope we move to. I would love to move there because I have my sister there, my brothers, but I'm mainly close to my sister as much as I love my brothers. Um, my parents are still in New York, but they want to move down South Carolina as well. As you said, the real estate there right now is, I feel like everyone and their mom has moved there in the past couple of years, so it boomed so much, like the Spartanburg Greenville area. So the real estate there is just, it's still kind of like crazy. So we will see. Your spiritual sense of like Yeah, that's another city next to Spartanburg area. They kind that's of like... literally right where my teachers are. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think that's where the college is for their... South Carolina. Yeah, they use BJU Press Homeschool, and I think they're based in Greenville, Even my I believe. teachers are there. Yeah, she, she would school. love to meet her teachers. What was I even saying? I have no idea what I was saying. Let's just go to Target. It's so humid. Oh, it's humidity. Yeah, you're right. Wow, you're good. <laughs> yeah, it's very humid here, but I can't complain. Like, it's April, and we were swimming in February. We were at the beach in February. So you win some, you lose some. Like, in New York, when we lived in New York, it was cold for, like, cold and snowy for, like, six months out of the year. So, you know. This is a loop around to the front. We are on that side there. And then this is, like, the main section. I really upset of my camera here. This is the way to get out of the RV park. They have spots here as well. And then you have the pool to the left behind this RV right here. You guys can see, which n seems like nobody goes swimming. We're like the only ones because we're from New York. So for us, this is like summer weather. Um, the water's still a little bit cold, but it's still enjoyable. So that's the pool and the pool is literally like right by the lake. So it's just so nice here. Like this has been so nice for the kids to be able to swim. And then that's like the main office. The main office has like a little kitchenette. It has basically everything that you need. It has a little mini theater room, laundry, a ton of bathrooms. They have the dumpster here, a wash dog station. It's just like, a, it feels like a nice little community. It's like a gated community. And I don't know, it's just so nice. So we really enjoyed staying here, especially since it's so close to um, so much, like Houston, Galveston, uh, Leak City is really nice. We liked it. Um, their targets, they have the Super Target, which is where I'm going right now. I forgot my Target gift card, so I'm having my husband bring it. He's walking right there. He's gonna throw out the trash as well. Uh, but that's the entrance to the RV park. There's this long road here off of the highway. There's the highway, and then there's like a school across the street. Uh, there's like a library that we went to, so that was really nice down that way we kind of like figured out this area a little bit since we've been ex basically trying to explore as much as we can but this is the entrance to the rv park that's the warehouse that they're expanding and they have like a parking lot and then back there they're expanding it's like a building supply of sorts or something um and then that's the entrance to the rv resort it gets situated back back behind the highway so you can miss it if you just drive right by you might not notice it my favorite section Love to see it. Look how cute. This would actually work really well in the RV. Something a little bit, or maybe it might be a little bit too big since the one I have right now is kind of small. Huh. 20 bucks, it's actually not too bad. They have so many cute things, like I can't even, I love house stuff. Especially oh, the Target section. I want my own basket for my toy. Your own basket? Back in the car, successful Target trip. Let me show you guys what we got. It is so humid out. I feel like it's gonna storm any minute now. I think it's supposed to rain. Yeah, they're like Reese's pieces. So we picked up a few little things for Aviana's friend, and then my husband's have been on a kick of making breads and things like that, and he like pizzas like just basically making anything I with like yeast it. and oh, he needs yeah. a rolling pin we don't have a rolling pin i packed it away but then i saw this one from a hearth and hand so i picked it up it was 11.99 and not too bad pretty good quality it seems like we needed some more dish soap so i got this ever spring lemon and coriander smelled nice and then we needed some measuring cups and um, measuring spoons because the ones we have i have like three sizes and like one measuring spoon so I just picked up a set to have. I thought these were nice to have like little leather tags to hold everything together. They have black ones as well but RV it doesn't really like black is not the theme for the RV. Had a storm thunderstorm come through so everything is all wet but going for a little walk around the loop with my husband. I wanted to show you guys the patio that's on the other side of the building. We're staying somewhere over there 
Then here is Willow Lake. There's actually a train coming. You can probably hear it in the distance. So I'd say once a day, at least once a day, a train goes through, which is kind of cool. There it goes. And you can go fishing in this lake as well. There's the other highway. You see that bridge right there? That's the other highway. On this side is where people stay if they're staying for like a weekend or short term. And then on the other side of the lake is where most of the full timers are or like the uh, long term. And then behind you have like the kitchenette, the gym. You got these little seating areas, little patio. My husband has fished here a little bit with my son. So it's just really nice. Overall, very, very nice place. And like a great place to stay because it feels like a little community. And let me show you guys the gym since the lights are on. I don't think anybody's in there, but it's like a fully stacked gym. So it's kind of nice to have this, very beneficial. They have the weights in there, you can't really see. I'd go through here, but I think the door's locked. This is the other side and that's the highway. I think it's called League City Parkway, I believe. And this is where most people stay if they're staying short term, like I said. And then they have a few sitting areas uh, throughout. They have like a few benches on that side where the trains are. There's no alligators here, or there are no alligators here. That's the patio that I was just on little, um, with the office building. And then we're about to turn a corner. So you can take like a nice walk every single day. A lot of people actually that are staying here walk around every single day. It's a nice place to walk around. They got a few benches here and there. All right, you guys, it's the next morning. We are almost all packed up. Just made some sandwiches for the road. Gonna make some coffee, go over water, put everything away, make sure like any, everything that needs to be secured is secured. And I'm gonna push the slides in in a little bit. Put my pin in. Um, husband's finishing some things outside and we're gonna head on out to our next destination. We again really enjoyed League City. So again we stayed at Willow Lake RV Resort. They have a laundry facility, the theater room, the fitness center, bathrooms, the pool. Um, it's just been really nice. It's like close to everything so if you're looking for a place to stay um, next to Houston or Galveston I would highly recommend uh, Willow Lake RV Resort, whoever owns it, everybody here has just been really great as well and our experience has been, our personal experience has been great. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, thanks for hanging out and hopefully I'll see you guys very very soon. I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in